Hello, and welcome back to Tour of the Playlist Worksheet. Today we have Stage 2, which takes us all around the worksheet to look at its furnishings. In yesterday's stage, we looked at the cog icon and its awesome power. Next to that is the pencil, which is a shortcut to the reopen playlist form for this playlist, so I could make changes in there if I wanted, such as adding an episode name, click Submit to go back to the worksheet. The all-seeing eye icon takes me to the public view of my playlist, so I can see what it looks like to listeners. Use my browser back button to get back. This menu allows me to add different kinds of non-music entries into the playlist. For example, a talk segment. Your station will have a different selection in the Add Non-Music menu, and the menu won't appear at all unless station management sets up the feature. Each non-music menu item configures the form a little differently. The timestamp field is the same as the music entry form, but the rest is different. Moving on, the difference between Submit and Queue is that Submit puts the spin in your playlist with a timestamp and Queue without. Spins without timestamps aren't displayed to the public, so this allows you to prepare spins in advance. Add a timestamp later to make the queued spin visible. The Now button sets the timestamp to your local wall clock time. We'll visit Imports and Exports in another video. With Import, you can get data into the playlist from elsewhere. Export sends the playlist out, including by email. There are two ways to edit stuff already in your playlist. First, click on any text with this dashed underline to edit the text in place. Second, click on the pencil icon to edit the spin in the form above. You can probably guess what the trash can icon does. The triangle here reverses the order of spins in the playlist. The Facebook and Twitter links will share this playlist either to Facebook or to Twitter. And that's the end of our tour of the furnishings of the playlist worksheet.